normally when your smartphone gets an update, either the manufacturer or the wireless carrier will send that to you in what they call an OTA update or an over the air update. When this happens, you'll get a notification on your device and it'll ask you if you want to download and install that from the device itself. Sometimes though, you might want to manually install the update by yourself and you can do this with the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge from the PC. To do this, we need to download and install the Samsung Smart Switch application. I'll have a link to this on my website. Once you download and install it, it will ask to put a shortcut on your desktop. So then you just have to double click to launch the program. As you can see here, this is what it will look like when you launch the program. After you launch the Smart Switch program, it's going to ask you to connect your Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge to the PC with a micro USB cable. After you connect it, nothing's going to change on the desktop because you need to do something. You'll first need to drag down the notification panel. You're going to have a couple options here. We want to tap on the charging, or I'm sorry, we want to tap on the connected for charging notification because we want to select a different USB option. And then you want to select this top option, or if it's listed differently, you want to select the transferring media files option. After you select the transferring media files option, if you look back up to the desktop, you're going to see this change. It's going to recognize your device. And if you have an update waiting, it's going to prompt you to update the device right now. If you've done this in the past and you click the don't ask again, then you won't get this pop up, but you still have an update button underneath. So to manually apply the update to your device, all you have to do is click the update button. It's going to give you some information here telling you that if your device is rooted, it could fail. It's asking you to use the exact same USB cable that came with your device. It's going to ask you to back up your data. And then while it's updating, Samsung asks that you don't open any menus by pressing any buttons. Don't connect anything to it. Don't use the call function and don't disconnect the cable while the update is happening. If you do that, you could really damage your device. Some of this other stuff is just like just in case warnings, but if you disconnect the cable, you could end up messing up your device. So when you're ready, just go ahead and click the OK button. It's going to do a little work, and then it's going to prepare for the update. If you get that prompt, just tell Windows that it's okay to run this program. Now, depending on how fast your internet connection is, this download could take a long time or it could not take very much time at all. Once the download has been completed, you're going to see your Galaxy S7 reboot and it will boot itself into download mode. It will look like this. 
And again, you don't want to turn anything off. You don't want to unplug the cable. What's happening now is all that data that you downloaded on the PC, that update, it's now being transferred to your Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. Just like with the download process, this can take some time. And you're just going to have to be patient. You can walk away. You shouldn't need any actionable steps here. So you can walk away. Go grab something to drink. Go do something else. And then come back in 5-10 ten minutes. Once it gets to 100%, you're going to see the Galaxy S7 reboot again. It's going to boot into this special download mode. This is the actual process of taking that update that it just sent to the Galaxy S7 and then applying and installing the update. You can see the PC Smart Switch program says the software update for the Galaxy S7 is complete, but it's not really. It's just the transfer of the update is complete. You, it does say you can disconnect and reconnect the cable, which we can do. It's no big deal. Then we're going to see our Galaxy S7 reboot and take us back to the Android lock screen. This is just the decrypting process. Since I have that little extra protection enabled. Once it boots back up, you're going to see the Android is upgrading screen. This is just the app optimization process that happens. It can happen anytime you clear the cache partition, but it will definitely happen after you apply an over the air update or even a manual update like we did right here. And the device, the device is booting back up. Like I said, this took me a long time, and I barely have any apps installed because I'm using this, using this for tutorial purposes. I can only imagine if you have 102 apps, how long that will take. <laughs> 